everyone what is up everybody give discussions is back again with another topic for you guys today and we got an interesting topic today this time Vito came up with the topic and today we're talking about freedom versus security gray areas Ian likes to think there's gray area <laughs> there's gray for areas. me there is no gray area I stand firmly in the side of freedom I only say gray area because it depends on who you ask I can understand that I think a lot of people would choose I would, well, I wouldn't say everyone. Originally, I was going to say everyone, but I think a lot of people might choose safety only because not knowing if they can protect themselves. See, I think you're wrong on that. I think more people are going to stand towards the side of freedom than security. Because when we ask anybody in mainland China how they like uh, security over freedom, you can ask almost... A, it, it, I understand what you're saying, gray area, and, but... People that can't defend themselves who want security, why should the people that can defend themselves have to succumb to people that to can't? I hear what you mean. That that that's a deep, that's a mm -hmm. that's a fair enough question. That is, but also I feel like I feel like you can't. I feel like you can have security at mm -hmm. the same time as freedom. It just depends you on can where. To a point. But like right now with what's going on with the quarantine where these people are trying to force people to stay in their home. Where we have mothers that are getting arrested for taking their kids to a park. To a park. That's a little Or a father excessive. got arrested for throwing a softball with his daughter. That's, a little, that's excessive. You, you see where I'm getting that? Yeah, that's excessive. Anytime something like that happens, people are standing firmly on the side of freedom. Kids do have to be able to get outside though because... It, mm -hmm. When you kids have, all stuck up inside, they're going to get it's, cooped it's up. It's these authoritarians that think that they can sit there and dictate every aspect of your life. Because they want to tell you when to move, mm. how to jump, when to go, how to high you can jump. Mm, okay. okay. And, that's, and when people sit there and think they're giving up, when they say security, you're giving the right, when you're giving up your freedom for security, that means you're allowing another person to dictate what you can and cannot do. Whether that's the person, whether that's a government, whether that. that's a country, you're not. You, you people are are always going to gravitate towards freedom, whether that's free speech, allowing to be able to move freely. And don't get me wrong, there are downsides to that as well because you have the anti-Semitic types that are going to attack and do different things okay. because they can move within the freedoms that everybody else gets to move within. You, you see where I'm moving with that? I see what you're saying. So, yes, there are these people that take advantage of the freedom, but I'd still rather be free than to give up my security for somebody else to protect me. Because I've seen the people where they say, if something's happening, you, should, you shouldn't have a gun, you should call the cops. The, you, the average response time of most police are five minutes. You know what can happen in five minutes? Even if you, I, want, I, even if you want to be respectful. Call it a two-minute response. I get what you mean. Yeah. It's... Yeah. A lot can happen in two minutes. I think what, what you have to do is you have to define what is security. That okay. I, I think mm -hmm. that, that's an important and, yes, step. Yes, having like a military to protect yeah, our borders. You, you, yes, we need to have certain securities. Like you said, having freedom. But when you start giving up your actual freedom... When you're allowing people to tell you you have to stay in your home and you're not allowed to leave, I, well, you're not. You you're gonna have people feeling some type you of. You can't read this type of book. You can't play this game. Yeah. When it, someone it, is trying to dictate little things and tell you how to act throughout your life, and are infringing based off of what you want to do, that's where I say freedom wins every step of the way. Yeah, I understand that. I argument. get where you secure. Yes, you should have to have some security. Like I said before, police, mm. law, but that's where we have laws that are put into place, and society follows to a point. We follow the law. Citizens will follow. I like how you said to a point. We follow. They, hey, it's true. <laughs> it should be an honest to a point. We follow. Because look, quite honestly, look, speed limits. You're not supposed to go past the posted speed limit. 65 miles an hour on the highway. How many people you see? How many people go? I do. How many people go 70, 80 miles an hour? Technically, you're True. breaking the law. True. 
You see what I mean? That's what I'm to a point. If it wasn't a law, the speed limit would only be a suggestion. Exactly. So. I, yes. But. But see, I, that's why, I, like, I'm, I don't want to give up the, my right to have. I don't want to have somebody dictating every aspect of my life. But I have seen this though. If you so, in differentiating freedom from security. Just like I think you have to define what security is, mm -hmm. I think you also have to define what freedom is. Because some people it, do it, have extreme... Well, uh, and it is defined in freedom if you look at the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of the United States. Our Bill of Rights are our freedoms. And that's not the government didn't give those to us. That's what our we say our Creator gave us. Our Constitution does not give us rights. It protects the rights that the Creator created for us. Well, we, everybody does have free will, so exactly. So I, I, I. But that's why I'm saying that we have the, the our freedoms are already laid out. Yeah, true. Our bill of rights are true. right there. Those aren't suggestions. I just I think the most important, most important part in differentiating it, you have to find. You have to find a common ground definition of what security is. I think that's For most people, they're saying that they should confiscate everybody's guns. Nobody should be allowed to have guns. That should be the, the law officer should be the only person to have a gun. I disagree wholeheartedly with that. The thing that sucks about it, if you have like, if you're speaking the right to have the right to protect yourself, mm -hmm. you got the right to protect yourself. Yeah, but I think just now, it's. You don't know who's going to have a mental breakdown. You don't that that could happen at any time. You don't know who's I understand you're that. Not gonna, you don't know who's going to have it. Mm -hmm. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know where it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I also do understand the ar argument just cuz someone had a mental breakdown doesn't mean this person is or I, I, I get what you mean. Don't take it away from everybody. You I can't I get sit what there you and if you can't move like that, you can't sit there and treat the mass is based off of a small group that's terrified. Just because there's a small minority of people that don't want, that are afraid or can't protect themselves, you can't expect all of society to conform to what those few want to do. I mean, I I understand the reason why some people want regulation. I, I think the majority of people, the reason why they want regulation, it's just because they're tired of mass violence, which I get. I I, I get it. It's it's Honest, a it's I a response that. to mass violence. But if you actually so look I at the mass that. violence that happens in this country, look at any other country in this world, and it is nowhere near the level. I, the media wants to try to blow things up. If you look at almost. I, I've known people who have even said that they've known people who live in Jordan. You know what? He wakes up every day to a tank rolling down his street. Where does that happen in America? I mean... There's maybe places, during, like, when they had riots back back in the day, but... Other you didn't have that, a tank rolling down the street. There was not a tank, a military tank, rolling down the street in an American city. When I, you look I at what what happened, you could look at what happened in China where they blew away their citizens with a tank. That you can't even search that online and because they, they try to hide that stuff. I understand what you mean, the, the concerns that you have about it. My concerns about it is what happens to, again, look at a country like China, where they have complete 100% mainland China locked down on their people. They, they can't speak out against their government or they disappear. They have a dissenting opinion with their government, they disappear. Look at the whole Wuhan thing. Doctors that came out and tried to warn the world, they're gone. But yeah, they feel very secure. I mean, it's... One big part of it is perception. I think that's the biggest... I think perception is the biggest factor of any situation that people have to look at and that a lot of people don't actually take the time to take into account. Because a lot of people think that their mindset should be universal. Yeah. And that everyone should think that way. But and you, can't, no, you can't have a society walking in lockstep every step of the way. You can't have, not every single, because if every person is thinking and acting and working exactly the same, 
Nothing True. Nothing yeah. works. Yeah. Nothing gets I, done. I see what you mean. You have to have individuality. You have to have people that challenge ideas. Mm-hmm. Because ideas are ch- meant to be challenged. Not everybody is right 100% of the time. It what's, doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you fall on. What's the saying? If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Exactly. So. Yep. That's that's my point. Yeah. When you have actual honest discourse, mm-hmm. good, open, honest debate, where you can exchange, have an exchange of ideas, that's where people can meet in the middle and actually get things done. When somebody just wants to think that no matter what they believe in, straight up, their thought way of thinking is your, universally the best. What you have to say matters not. My way has to be. When there's no give or take on that. And unfortunately, you have a lot of people who are like that. Not everyone's no. like that, but you, you do have a large amount of people mm-hmm. who believe that their beliefs, their mindsets, should be universal and everyone should be thinking And I believe right. everybody should have their own beliefs. Yeah. But you shouldn't go after somebody else because of what they believe. You can you can you can agree to disagree. Okay. Like don't get me wrong, I think some people are acting illogically during the quarantine. Because they act out of fear. Exactly. Fear makes you do cra- fear makes you act and in, governments in crazy take ways. advantage of that fear. Because Girl. people more people are willing to give up their freedoms when they're fra- afraid. People just want answers when they're afraid. Mm-hmm. They want answers. They want res- they want results. Mm-hmm. They want action to be done. But if you look across anywhere in the world, that no matter how many, eventually, you keep oppressing people to the point eventually they're going to rise up. Look over oh, anywhere, whether it's the French Revolution, whether it's our own revolution that we had here, whether it's the air, what's going on in China, Hong Kong and everything, people rise up for freedom. People want to have their voice heard. True. It's... You're true. You're true. You're right on that. When people get oppressed to the point, freedom will always... People will always migrate towards me. That That is why America is the last beacon of hope for people around the world. But I will also agree... Also say this. When it comes to oppression... There are certain people who try to talk about oppression and have no clue what they're oh, talking about. Oh, they have no clue about. what they're talking about at all. Like, it's... Like, yeah. honestly, just seeing, like, how some people... Don't get me wrong. I, I feel like I get... Like, being in the quarantine, I get it. You, you're, you're tired of it. You're trying to get back to work. I get that. Now, some states might be doing stay-at-home orders differently than other states. Like, Michigan is going way overboard. Trying to tell you you can't go to your second home is ridiculous. That's your own private property that you own. Yes. Sitting there trying to say that you can't go fishing on a lake. Where some people, that's all they make their livelihood. is stuff like that. Now, I did see... I have seen, like, people on social media trying to compare this to being in a concentration camp during the Holocaust. And when I saw that, I was like, you got to stop. Yeah, that's... You You got to stop. Like, that. that's to an extreme. They're not doing experiments on... Exactly. Anything. They're not po- but they're, poking and prodding at you in... They are doing that in China. You know there are concentration camps going on right now in mainland China. They have people... All, millions of people in concentration camps in China. I wouldn't doubt it. No, they do. I, they do. Only, the only reason why I'm not the only reason why I'm saying I wouldn't doubt it is I tech I have not read anything on it, so that's why I'm just saying I'm not I'm not doubting. Well, you're not going to. Most Chinese most like, of the Chinese government wants to hide most of the stuff. When you speak, it, most mainland Chinese people, when they speak out against their government, they disappear. That's true. Because they want everybody. Acting, walking, talking, exactly the same. Yeah, that's what happens when your government's a dictatorship. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, like, when I saw that, like, people here in America... See, that's, that's taking it to a certain... Saying that, like, far. oh, this is, like, being in a... Con- I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not being in a concentration. You're not... You can't go that far. You're not being starved out. You're not being poked and prodded. But it is a lot closer to being in a dictatorship where they're trying to tell you what you can and cannot do. 
Where they, like I said, some states are taking the stay at home too. Some they're, they're, they're overstepping they're, they're, their bounds. Yeah, they're they're going a little crazy on it. But Again, like when a mother gets arrested for taking their kids to a park, when a when a father gets arrested for throwing a softball yeah, with his daughter, that's that's I mean, that's the just two that's, examples, but that's it's excessive. little things like this that are happening all over the place. Yeah, that's excessive. But they're letting we, they're letting prisoners out of prison and they're arresting people for this. Some prisoners, okay. If you like on a nonviolent crime, we can have a conversation with you. But if you in like jail, if you in prison doing like for catching like four bodies, I don't know if I feel comfortable letting you out. Even if you get in for <laughs> assault, you shouldn't be out. Like, but that, but see, that's that's my point. I, I, I'm not give, but that's why I go back to I'm not going to give up my freedom and, and just to feel a little bit more secure. When freedom, I can, when I can protect every, myself. Freedom is everything to people. Yes, yes, it is. Right down to the for my freedom of speech, my right to bear arms, my right to be to be able to move as I feel free. Don't get me wrong; I agree with freedom of speech. I just hate how some people use it to mm -hmm. be to be cruel to other people. Yep. I that uh, that to me that's a waste of energy. It definitely is. Like you just you're wasting your time in mm -hmm. life. Oh, you, you're gonna say something ignorant and then say, "Oh, freedom of speech." It, like, like I said, like the KKK members that sit there and speak off their what they say. Yes, they should let them say it. It's their freedom right to say it. Do we have to like it? No. But we have the right to actually go against it and derail them and attack them for what they say. You, you see what I'm saying? I know that's an extreme example. I understand what you're saying. It's just the, it's it's the example that you're using which makes people mad that's that's why i, I, that's I why i'm using yeah it. it's just the it's the example you use but i don't I agree at all with what they are they're terrible evil people yeah but they still have a right to have their voice heard but you don't have to listen I mean, to what the, they're saying it's the law of the land so. that's that's my point do we have to like what they say no no but do they have a right to say it unfortunately they do just like you have a right to say what you say true True. It's just unfortunately it's those it's some of it's hatred, some of it's yeah. discriminate, some of it's unfortunately it has to go both yeah. ways. You can't just pick and choose when you can let freedom go and when you can take it back. I understand what you mean by it. Unfortunately, you can't. Of course, but then you're gonna have, have some people who are yelling, "Oh no, that's that's the only thing that sucks about like having the conversation." Is because I don't think everybody looks at freedom of speech the same way. They don't. It, it, they, they don't. Yeah, so, like I said, it's perception. Mm -hmm. It's like not everyone looks at the Second Amendment the same way. So, But remember, if they take away your freedom of speech, then they can dictate how you think. True. Again, I mean, some... Let on, people speak their mind because then you know exactly what they are. I mean... When people are allowed to speak and they can say whatever the hell they want, now you know exactly how they are. You know who to avoid. I mean, on certain social media platforms, you get suppressed or you get mm -hmm. your post or your your activity gets. I, I think we diminished. found our topic for next Sunday. We're gonna. I think we're gonna. Oh, uh, fair, fair, fair enough. We can say that. We can say that one. I think we're gonna end this here for now because we're gonna start getting into another tangent. But I think we know what we're gonna be talking about next week. So tune in for next Sunday where we go into a tangent on freedom of speech. Guys, blow us up. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Blow us up. Hit Let us know what you think. Bell. Thanks for stopping and spending some time with us. And remember, today. so think freedom or security. I stand on the side of freedom all day. I'm, an, I'm. You know what? I'm not gonna answer it. Only because I want someone to. I want someone to define me what security is. And then maybe I will give my answer in the next, in the beginning, as a recap. During the next, well, I've told you before, the security that I say is all the military, the police, the laws. That's the security. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, you know, screw it. I'll, I'm, I, freedom is important. I just want to know what people define security as. That's, That's what that, I'm saying. Yeah. My security that I'm giving yeah. up, I'm allowing the, the military, the police to be able to enforce the laws. Mm. The laws that are put into place, that is my security. Fair enough. Fair enough. Everything else, I should be able to make my decisions and move how I see fit. Hey, fair enough. But again, guys, sorry to go back into it real quick, but thanks for stopping and spending some time with us. We'll see y'all in the next one. Later, week. everyone.